Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Chandler. Good morning, Chandler. <laughs> I guess we're going to start stretching. Do some head tilts first. Yeah. One. You guys are really far away from the square. Yeah. <laughs> we got a standard square. Our audio is a bit. Still not great. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lean forward, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head tilt or twirls, I guess. Probably. Mm -hmm. Nine ten. Nine ten. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> Nine ten. Nine ten. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Wrist. Getting further and further away. That's ten. Jill, you got count. So I don't I'm gonna lose my voice Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heck yeah. He saved it for the main show. Down. Down. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right, then. Get yourself some room. Get yourself some room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Monty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Monty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. So like a disorganized one, workout video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> We're getting that Marine. Let's see. More and more Marine. <laughs> This is a new slide. It's grateful and proud, but personal. Um, I guess I'm grateful for the fact that it's finally October season. It gives me a good excuse to watch scary movies all month and 
It's grateful I get to hang out with my friends and go do that still. Uh, Not a lot of people get to do that, so. Haunted um, houses? Huh? You gonna go to a haunted house? That's that's a debate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> go to like, the Niles one. There's the Niles one? Yeah. There, there is. I've been to a few, but. Uh, Can we share two, Chandler? What? No? No? I'll share two? Are we allowed? Go ahead. Oh, shout okay. out there. Shout out. I thought we were grateful and proud of That's well. the only the presenter. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll shut up. No, you're good. If you want to make a shout out, go ahead. Turn into a shout out. Um, I guess shout out to, to Max's mom. She's coming up on a milestone in her recovery six months. Cool. So that's, that's a big deal. It really yeah, is. It is. Cause she'd get to a couple months and then have to slip up. So this is great. It's, she's doing great and we're communicating great. And uh, it's all benefits, benefits to my kids. So that's awesome. Just super grateful for that. Uh, shout out Jamie. He's gonna bring his boy over to my place tonight, and the kids are gonna hang out and help me hook up my my new to me stove. Nice. Thank you. Did you turn off the stove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it's all about. Yeah. No. <laughs> shout out to Corey for selling all of our all of our stuff that we're still asking out. Joel's gonna come back and think we're just like out of business. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to uh, Jamie for helping me with my kind of slim, low-profile and creative storage solution for our Hylip and uh, Mac Dragon yeah. next door. Super cool. Wow. Nicely done. Anybody else? Shout out the Lions, Fat Dust. Fat Dust. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. And the Tigers for playing the right. right. first time in 10 years. <laughs> During the day. <laughs> Falling spot. All right, anybody else? Shout out to Chandler, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Taking the next step. I, oh, I will shout out oh, Kevin. Oh, no. When is that? Private video. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. No, oh you didn't close yeah. all your tabs, Chandler. I can't see it. Is that I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that video is public. Did you post it? reenact it? Like music in it? Did they get copyrighted? No. That's bizarre. Let's hit the play. Let's hit the play. Yeah. 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 I don't know where we're going, Chandler, but we're going on a we're going on a journey. I don't know why it's crop up. Oh, yeah. 11.6% body fat. I was only like seven in high school. Girls, yeah. Seven. Gross. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe I don't know. It should be, yeah. Yeah. Like gross. Oh, gross. I think right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. things that bug me in the face. Um, let's do the let's do the department check in while I try to sort this out. Tell you guys remember all the departments. Yeah, every single one of them. Uh, okay, I'll start CDC oh, department yeah. yesterday. Uh, ran well. We set a goal to get at least sixty D rings done. I got sixty four. So yeah, that. That's work. Then there's saw. I know saw was not there. Yeah, saw two beams. I got all the sliders done yesterday. Yeah, you. Did you have any hurdles? Yeah, we got more tall ones, and I had no place to put them. So I uh, <laughs> right. got some many hooks today to clean up on the call. Nice. I bet one tube yesterday. Yeah, you. Oh, <laughs> cut. <laughs> Did you have any hiccups or hold ups? Circus well, so seeing department Oh, yeah, Circus seeing the county. Powder code. Uh, yeah, we pretty much got everything done. And then 
get on load, do more. Yeah, good. All right. They're sure. like a whole floor worth, you know, stuff. Remember, is there anything yeah. that we could be working on to get better in these areas too? Keep well, that in mind. No. Brace for us. Good. Tim has stuff for his fabricator, then we got stuff up for you. Shipping. We bought the sales guide. Nice. Well, yes. Yeah, we're there. All right, let's see. There's this wire shelf back here that we do all of the laminated on, as well as some of the tools. You know if uh if there's any SOPs that Cameron's been working on for that can you see by board? Yeah. 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 We had um we had a good last day of the month. We forty nine thousand five hundred I think almost forty nine six. Oh a good strong finish. Um finished a little over six hundred for the month which is not good. So looking forward to a better month this month. That's good. Yeah. Our robot. Uh, we go to run the front crusader bumper yesterday. And uh one of the what well, the base plates that goes to the picture did not fit yesterday. Come to find out they're not the right base plates. So I guess Bryce is supposed to be cutting us some more yeah. to fit properly inside the picture. So we didn't run yesterday at all. Yeah, so, what, so we, we went to run those bumpers. We are going to write the SOP for them. And uh, we started to put parts on the picture, and those space plate parts just didn't fit in the picture quite right. And then Joe happened to be out there, and we noticed that the parts weren't actually the robot parts. They were the old back parts. And so they didn't have any of the notches, slots, any of that stuff in them. So um, now we talked to Bryce yesterday. I think there may have been a communication thing or something that didn't happen. So we didn't get the new parts into the folder to cut. Yeah. We'll take another one of those the next time and it comes to the room. And I think that's something that we can learn from, right? <laughs> it may be something that we want to look into for better processors somehow so that we're not continuing every once in a while to cut those old parts. We can definitely include that. And then powder coat. Powder coat was a busy day yesterday, but we managed to take everything out. That's supposed to be my hands, but I got it without worry that it's a little bright. We got to make sure we don't fall into that tradition of it's the beginning of a new month and we just sit on our heels for the first week. We have a lot of ground to make up for the last two months of production. 
So just want to make sure that everyone gets at it and gets going. Let's right. see if this will work now. This is Chandler's improvement video of the day. Yeah. It's improvement of things that bug me. And the thing that bugs me the most right. is this wire shelf back here that we do all of our laminating on, as well as some of the tools that are over here, some of them are over here, and then over on the shelf. So on the shelf, um, we cut out these combines and we have this wire shelf. So obviously, Over it. I don't get it. All right, guys. So, anyways, stuff can fall through, which is a pain in the butt. The other thing is, is that some people don't know whether to feed it from this side or feed it from this side. So, I want to fix that as well. Laminating comes through. It's going to come down and actually get caught in the wire shelf, and then it will bend itself up and curl itself up like this, and uh, starting to create effects. Here's what I have planned. Um, we're gonna do a fat American table and then replace the wire shelf. And then I'm going to take this full sheet of Kaizen foam. It is the same size as our tabletop. So I'll be able to glue this straight down on top of the table when we get that table in there. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna set this thing where it needs to go. I'm gonna set a spot where we can refill the um, plastic sheets. The scissors and the hole punch will be right in here. And then we'll essentially have a working table to go through and then nothing to catch it on the other side. So they can just fall stack, fall flat here on the table. Even out, nice. So, oh, pretty nice there, huh? Okay, so we want the open side to the right, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I got to flip around the back. Let's All right. Oh, Very nice. So here's my finished finished project for today. I have my lamination station. Next, I think I want to build an SOP on how to use it and put that barcode on here. Otherwise, uh, there you go. Try to get back there. Mm -hmm. The screen sharing is paused. The first one. I'm thinking we're going to probably in the next video too. Probably. All right. My gosh.
What the heck? <laughs> like not even loading. Not even loading here. Let's say reasoning is getting by because we got other stuff. Um, so here we have a before and after of the beast. <laughs> the beast. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, I don't really know what that is, what that does. <laughs> the, belts but, are, the, but the belts were actually way like twenty the feet away from the belt stand itself, so. Oh, it's mucho better. Yes, it's him posted that in a yesterday. Oh. We got a new SOP that Kevin made, and it's basically to help translate different languages for the people that work here. So shout out to Kevin for that. Yes, if anybody's doing a presentation like Chandler, now you've got steps on how to translate to different languages as you're putting together that presentation. We are here. We have a quote from Anthony Bourdain. Uh, it's kind of about restaurants, but the second half more so relates towards our company. It says, I won't eat in a restaurant with filthy bathrooms. This isn't a hard call. They let you see the bathrooms. The restaurant can't be bothered to replace the puck in the urinal or keep the toilets and floors clean. And just imagine what their refrigeration and workspaces look like. My morning mean is on the bathrooms, the lean bathrooms. Oh God! Yeah. The time. Right. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't put that thumbnail there, bro. Any of you? My name is Chandler May. Today we're going to be showing you how to clean the bathrooms. This is our SOP right here, and we're going to be using this to follow pretty much all of our steps. First order of business: you want to grab some gloves, keep that nastiness off your hands. You can take this toilet cleaner, or we're going to clean the toilet. Lift the lid up. Twist the cap and just spray get around under, in there. Get up under the, the rim. I'll go under the rim. Act like you've done this before, Shut up. Next, you're going to take your little brush. You're going to get to scrubbing. The, our first take of this, it's a toilet wash brush. I'll scrub that thing like it owed you money. Before you buy the toilet, wash it. Yeah, maybe a face wipe down the toilet the best you can. Get underneath the toilet seat lid, wipe that down, get the lid on the top, get around the back side too, under the bowl. Now we're going to wipe down the sink. Take one of these and just get around the sink the best you can. Get the top, wipe down the handle. Hey, you want to see what Chandler's been doing? Yeah, what's he working on? A masterpiece. A masterpiece. Oh, A masterpiece. Oh, 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 okay. Nice. Go so for one of our final steps. I'm going to take this one next. It should be located here. We're going to spray down this mirror. Make sure we don't have a dirty mirror. Give it a couple of sprays. Get yourself a couple of paper towels. And just start wiping away. You want to grab a press press and back away? Let's go ahead and wipe down these handles, the door handles. One of your final, probably your final step, we're going to mop the floor. Okay, take this bad boy. Water is out of it. Well, in here, please go back. Sorry, and get to business. I'm wondering what smells so good. This bathroom is so clean. 
Well, before you leave, just make sure that there's toilet paper and paper towels for the next person in front of you. And that's about it. You can find that up there. Yeah. We're all done now, but... Ooh, I gotta take a stink pickle. Or play Nice job. Great video. Great video. All right, the hard part's over. <laughs> um, so the benefits of a lean bathroom, obviously we just went through all the steps of cleaning, but the benefits are it creates a good routine. It keeps everybody happy. I think everyone can agree that they feel pretty good when they go into a bathroom. It smells nice. It doesn't smell like crap or no piss all over the toilet seat or anything like that. I think everyone can agree that we should also all be able to clean up after ourselves. Um, continuous improvement. Uh, through the lean bathrooms, we are practicing continuous improvement by always making sure it's clean and most importantly, nice for the next person in line. Uh, just small things building up to add towards the lean. Um, yeah, total ownership. Uh, I'm kind of going to go off what Brian said a couple of weeks ago or about a week ago. We don't want to know who did it. Just clean up after yourselves. And we're all adults here, and we can take responsibility, you know. Um, in my conclusion, in conclusion, everyone is responsible for their own mess. If we start with something as simple as cleaning the bathroom clean to cleaning up our messes, we'll have a good simple start for lean culture at JCR. Yeah. yeah. Um, any questions or comments or anything? How'd that toilet water taste? Toilet water taste, it tastes like chemicals. Yeah. So in one of the podcasts, they mentioned that if we all take care of our own mess, then when someone goes to clean the bathroom, there's nothing to do right. because it's already clean. There all you right. go. Yeah. And we'll kind of get into that. Um, we'll start this on Monday. We're going to roll this out on Monday. So Friday in our morning meeting, I'll have a, a chart. So we'll have it laid out on who's going to be where, when, and kind of break that all down. Um, You will want to follow the SOP. And uh, one of the things you'll find is yeah, when you're going in to do that, if it is your responsibility throughout that week, the bathroom should be a real quick touch up every day as long as everybody's taking care of themselves. So you're going to have to use common sense. We'll talk about more of that on Friday, but you know, if the floor looks fine, you know, we have a Swiffer that we're going to use instead of a mop, but we'll at least mop once a week. Those are the types of things that you'll look at. If the mirror isn't, you know, doesn't have any spots on it or isn't dirty, then it's fine. You don't have to worry about it in that bathroom as we move on to the next one. I'll add to that too. You don't have to, it's not limited to the daily cleanings in the bathroom. I would like personally would like just having the board in there because it seems like there's always not enough to clean or always splashes of shit. Just having the gloves and having the stuff in there. If you're in there after lunch and shit's kind of a mess from all the use during lunch. It doesn't take very long to just keep it tidy, yeah, even though it's not your morning. Right. Leave it right. Like science said, leave it better than you found it. So you go in and, and there's water on the sink before you leave, just wipe the water off the sink. It's a pretty simple process. Anybody else? Good job, Chandler. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank yeah. you, guys. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we got John presenting with Just in Time. And then production, quick meeting. Yay! Thank you, guys. Great. Right. Thanks, bro. You good. Thank you. I liked your video. <laughs> Thanks. It wasn't cringe at all. It wasn't? No. It was okay. Good. okay.